Hey guys, what is up? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an easy professional intro for your YouTube channel. Now, the best part about this is that it is completely free. And also, you don't even need to know how to use After Effects or anything like that, since all of this is done directly through your browser. So if you guys would like to learn how to make an intro in under five minutes, stick around to the end of the video. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are closing in on 8,000 subscribers. And that would be amazing if we could hit that. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to get started, you want to go to the link in the description down below, which is going to bring you here to Panzoid. Basically what this website is, is it's a website that allows you to select a intro template and customize that template to be your own. So basically you just select a template that's random and you can customize it to be your own intro, which is really cool because it takes all the work out of creating an intro. So what you want to do is you just want to select one of the templates over here. And if you don't see anything that you like, all you have to do is click on the community templates. And this is where I have the most luck finding good templates. Just click leave. And from here you can see we have a whole list of other intros we can use and they're constantly being updated every few minutes I found there's new intros on here and there's hundreds and hundreds of intros so you should be able to find something that you like I'm just gonna use a random one right here I'll go ahead and use this one so just click on the intro you want click open in clip maker once it opens up you can preview it by clicking on the eye icon and then click play and if you like how the intro looks, we can just click on the eye icon again, click pause, and we can begin to edit the intro. Now, I'm not sure if you guys could hear, but it actually did have music playing in the background, and it is synced with the intro, so it does look very good. But if you guys don't like the music, you can always customize that later. And to customize the template, what you want to do is you want to click on this box right here. This is the first thing we need to do. We need to customize the settings of the intro. So I'm going to use 1080p because that's the quality I upload all my videos in. I'm going to use 30 FPS and for length you just want to make sure you leave it as it already is. Next step is to click on this 3D box over here and from here we're able to customize the text itself. Now for you you're probably going to end up with a ton of things in here. You're probably going to have tons of objects in here. Now my intro is very simple. It's only got three objects. And that makes it much easier to edit but if you do have a lot of objects it's not that big of a deal all you have to do is look for the one that says text click on it and then from here you'll be able to edit the text and what you want to do is you just want to click on the bar down here clear out whatever is in there and then just type in your channel name once you've done that hit enter and as you can see that has been changed now next thing you need to do is you need to edit the other layers of text there probably is going to be more than one since a lot of these intros you mul use multiple layers. So I'm just going to change the second one the same way I did the first. Change the name to Sharp Eye, just like that. Hit enter. And now we have our text. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit big, so I'm going to shrink it. And to do that, it's very simple. Just click on the height right over here. And you can change that to whatever size you want. I'm going to make it 14. Do the same for your other layer of text to make sure they match. 14 and now it looks good. So before we render it out and we begin to use our intro, we just want to preview it again to make sure it looks the way we want it to. So I'm going to click on the eye icon again, click play, and this is how our intro looks. So I think it looks pretty good. This is the intro I'm going to use. So once you've got it set the way you want, close out of that and now we can begin to download it. And to do that, you just want to click on this icon right here. And from here we can select the quality we're going to download the video in. So I'm going to use best quality and just hit start video render and just like that it will begin to render out your video. Now depending on your intro it may take between 5 and 10 minutes. As you can see right here it is going very quickly so I'm just going to be back once it's done. Once it's done you just want to hit download video, give it a couple seconds and then the video will download and I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that to finish and as you guys can see here it is done downloading now I went ahead and saved it to my desktop it's probably gonna be in your downloads so depending on where it is you might have to look for it but anyway this right here is my intro I saved and if we play it we do have that intro and the music is synced to it whether or not you can hear it or not but it does work very well overall 
this is an easy way to create a 3D intro for your YouTube channel and it works very well. If you guys found the video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.